A big bubble of high pressure over the Midwest is now beginning to shift east, and with that, we still will have some sunshine, but on the western flank of that area of high pressure, we have some uh, return moisture and humidity, and with that comes some stormy weather. It could see some locally heavy rain and maybe even some severe storms as well. But yesterday, we made it into the 70s and 80s across the region. Really pretty comfortable for the end of August. Certainly can be much hotter and much more sticky at this time of the year. We're about 10 degrees below average in the Ohio Valley, a uh, few degrees above average from Minneapolis to Duluth and International Falls, but Rapid City, 8 degrees below average. And now some severe weather chances building in from Bismarck to Kansas City. Marginal threat, but a little bit more narrow, slight risk area from Pierce, South Dakota and Aberdeen all the way down to central Nebraska there. The threat does shift a little bit farther east on Friday. Large hail and damaging winds, the primary threat. And then heading into Saturday night, another round of thunderstorms, which could be strong and severe across the upper Mississippi Valley. So the culprit, again, is this particular area of, storm, uh, of uh, low pressure. And this will continue to churn up the showers and storms as we head into our uh, Friday and Saturday with another threat. Uh, maybe developing into early next week. So just note that things will become a little bit more unsettled now. Looking at locally heavy pockets of rain, some half-inch to near one-inch tallies. Temperatures, of course, will still be in the 70s and 80s across the region, but the heat is going to be building back to the west. We'll start to notice that develop more so into the weekend. But today, Sioux Falls and Kansas City was 10 degrees below average.